95% LLM accuracy. Is this a dream, a reality or a myth? With 10x fewer hallucinations. Let's debunk this myth if it's a myth and let's look at how this was done using lamini memory tuning so in this figure if you see using prompting we can achieve a 26 percent accuracy with retrieval augmented generation and prompting we can achieve a 50 percent accuracy but with the claimed so-called lamini memory tuning we can achieve a 95 percent accuracy and i know it's a bold claim but let's look at the features of lamini memory tuning so this is the tldr lamini memory tuning is a new way to embed facts into llms that improves factual accuracy and reduce the hallucination to previously unachievable levels and as an example for one fortune 500 customer lamini memory tuning led to 95 percent accuracy compared to 50 percent with other approaches and hallucinations were reduced from 50 to 5 percent lamina memory tuning is a research breakthrough that overcomes a seemingly paradox in the ai world now why we call it paradox is because with the invent of llms we want it to be more creative but for applications such as chatbots and sql we wanted to be more accurate and reduce or we want no hallucinations at all now this special method has millions of expert adapters example loras with precise facts on top of the other any open source large language model for example llama 3 and uh, or mistral 3 so this is the tldr and when we talk about sql the accuracy it matters immensely we know the large language models are good at everything they're pretty good at everything but perfect at nothing but if you want to fetch results from a database which is stored in an sql for example and if you don't provide the exact syntax or the exact names of the columns in the database then you won't get the accurate results to be sent as output so we have this lamina memory tuning which is a completely new way to fine-tune any existing llm by tuning millions of lora adapters and selecting across them in a wide mixture of experts at inference time. We have talked about RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation, and Prompting. Now combining these two have merely advanced the level of accuracy of the large language models, but it merely caps at 50 to 60% when using Retrieval Augmented Generation. We can embed the model with new facts but those are not those cannot and it's difficult to be accurate i was working with a project uh, the same project that's being talked about here the text to sql now in order to get the accurate output we need to be right in two things first we need to be right in constructing the sql query itself so for example if we have let's say if we have this structure so a user comes in and puts in a question here then the first llm will generate the sql query and that query will be ran into the database the output that you get by running that query is used as input for the response llm so there are two LLMs uh, normally used and the major problem that we found out in the text to SQL task is the first LLM. It hallucinates basically column names and table names and it's a mess. The second LLM on the other hand, it's a pretty good response. 
once we have the data from the query after running the query from the database we can get the question user question here and we can get the data from the database and we can create basically a good response so the major portion of the work in the lamina memory tuning goes on to fine tune this particular llm so it works you through an example of how you do it their approach is to first take a very selected number of examples let's say 10 examples of the user query to sql examples and train the model with that once it is able to give out good response then we move on to the next set of trainings so in this example for example we have let's say how much did we sell in april this was the user question and the sql query that we that the llm has come up is let's say select revenue where month is four and if we run this we'll get null but actually there were sales in april but somehow when we say month equal to four uh, it is not in the proper structure which is used in the database itself so in the database we used let's say april keywords but it's not four so this is where it will not be able to generate a correct response however the response llm that uh, that is present here will be able to generate a good response because uh, it got that there were no sales in the month of april and you get the question here and the sales in april were zero dollars so that's the correct response for the response llm but we have then an incorrect response for the sql llm now these us uh, now this is one problem we found out one problem now in order to correct this problem we tune the model then we curate the easiest examples that will break the model once it is trained we go on and prepare another set of examples to train on and we use llms to prepare the set of examples or sql query and answer pairs to train with so this is basically the method that lamini has used to fine-tune the model but there is a little bit of issue here as well which i will come in in just a second but what they claim and you can see that uh, in the x-axis we have the cost here so if we use llm out of the box then we have on the y-axis accuracy is just 20 percent and it's cool demos it knows everything but it is not expert at anything now if we implement rack there the cost is increased because we need an additional inputs of the real-time data or new things to be put here and you can get an accuracy of 50 percent now if on the other hand you go and instruction fine tune uh, the models that is again a very high cost but your accuracy is not increased it's it's limited to 50 to 60 percent now with the lesser cost than the instruction fine tuning what you can get is memory tuning from lamini and you can see we can get 95 percent accuracy in the different use cases so this is what they have proposed and this is what they claim that one of the fortune 500 companies was able to bring down the hallucination level to a very low percentage and it was able to increase the accuracy now here comes the problem that i faced while working with these uh, text to sql models now in the data set that i was working with we had large number of tables we had 200 number of tables now here it seems that it talks about only one table so the first problem would be when there is a join structure for different tables when we want to join different tables there there would be a main issue where the llm will invariably hallucinate the next issue would be when we tune it let's say for each of the tables and when we add a new table so that needs another 
training for the SQL LLM that we have here. Now these two are the major problems but for a start if you just have one table I have no doubt that this approach would be quite beneficial for a lesser number of tables as well let's say four to five tables but when we have huge number of tables it is not going to give you this much accurate results so the solution that we have tried is to iteratively find out iteratively run uh, the same question so we allow the same question to be put into the sql llm and until and unless we get a good response we can maybe let it go through a loop and feed in the previous errors that it was able to find so that is one approach uh, that we had tried and that brought up the accuracy level but yeah this is the technique if you want to go ahead and uh, get a deep dive you can have a read of the blog here and this blog which uh, specifies that it was able to achieve 94.7% accuracy for text to SQL now if it is so that is a revolutionary thing that has happened please watch the next video join my patreon subscribe like this video and I will see you next time. Thank you.